You have been summoned by His Majesty the King because you have not paid your taxes. What will you offer as payment for your tax debt? Sire, I have a daughter who can spin straw into gold. Your father boasts that you can spin straw into gold. This we shall see. If you have not proven this by tomorrow at sunrise, then you shall die! <gasps> Seize them! Mistress Miller, your work pleases me greatly. God, bring even more straw. Please, please, I have done all you asked. You will do this again, and if you succeed, you shall become my wife. What will you give me to help you, mistress? Good sir, I have nothing left to give you. Then promise me your firstborn child should you become queen. Okay, this I will promise if you help me again. You shall be my wife, for a richer wife I could not find. I have come for the payment you promised me. No, 
no, something alive is dearer to me than all the riches in the kingdom. Hand over the child. I will not hand over my child. Go away. All right. Make me this deal then. I will grant you three chances in three days to guess my name. But if you cannot, you will turn the child over to me. Minister! Minister! Go to the nearby villages and make a list of all the male names you can find. Quickly! Yes, Your Majesty. Well, me lady, you remember our deal. Tell me my name. Is your name Casper? No, that is not my name. Melchior? No. Is your name Balthasar? No, your majesty, that is not my name. I will be back tomorrow, and you shall have three more guesses. <coughs> well, me lady, this is your second chance. You have three more guesses. What is my name? Is your name Calentian? No. Drankus? No, that is not my name. Valiant? No. I shall return to Modo. If you cannot guess my name by then, the child is mine. I forgot to say the magic words. <coughs> Me lady, I found only a few more names for you to present this morning, but one of them you will find very interesting. Go on then. As I passed through the wood on my way back to the palace last night, I came across a little house. Your 